One of my friends decided to poison me right in the middle of my bachelorette party before the wedding. Do you see these two shrimps on my plate? As soon as I eat them, I'm going to have a severe allergic attack. I couldn't figure out which one of them could've done it. My fashionable and rich friend Scarlett, who I've been friends with since college, or the workaholic from the office, Amanda, or maybe my manicurist who invited herself to the party, or my childhood friend Emma, who finally left the farm and drove all the way to the big city for my bachelor party. I didn't buy any shrimp, so someone else must have brought them. Who made all the appetizers? Emma. God, was I poisoned by a friend I've known all my life? Leslie, um... Oh, are you sure you don't need oh. help? Oh, Leslie. honey, oh, oh, so honey, don't pour me anything if it's not a whiskey. Oh, sorry, I, I was thinking about the wedding. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm, oh, I'll be back in a minute. I stayed my dress. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's no big deal. The main thing is that the dress is intact. If you have a wedding, we will buy another one just like this. Oh, you know, remember when we were kids? Uh, we dreamed of, of having our wedding together, of getting ready for it together. But now it turns out that I'm still single. Um, Emma, I really want to thank you for everything. And I'm really grateful for everything that you made today. But actually, I, I can't take any credit. The girls rejected all of my recipes, you know, mostly. So I just uh, followed orders in the kitchen. So the appetizers were made by all my friends. And everyone could have done it, except Emma. But who exactly? I need a lead. Leslie? Leslie? Who did this? What do you mean? We're talking about the bouquet on the table? Yeah. Oh. I made myself. Oh. oh. Nice. Remember, girls, no amount of flowers on the table can hide the smell of nail polish. It permeates everything. Yeah, we could smell it when you sat at the table. The jars have to be sealed tightly. That's right. The smell. The smell of shrimps. You just can't get rid of it. Besides, the shrimps must have been brought inside of something before it was planned. But in what? In a purse? Spending lots of money on yourself? <laughs> it's normal. Hey, mother, you have such a nice purse. Can I see it? Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> Girls, it's so expensive. It cost me like a hundred bucks just to look at it at the store. <laughs> no, the purse is empty. There is no smell of shrimps. What are you doing? I really like this uh, letter, and I really want to know, you know, the touch of it. <laughs> you need a wedding night, Leslie. Maybe the shrimps came in a pocket. The only one with the big pocket is Scarlet. Well, let's check out you, girl. Scarlet, I really want to tell you that I'm really glad that you're here, you know. It means so much to me. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you definitely need a wedding night. <laughs> no, the pockets are empty. Oh, okay. So, for the bride. Oh. To the bride, girls. Yeah. <laughs> to the bride. Yeah. Leslie, to you. Well, there had to be some goddamn shrimp lying around somewhere. Or maybe they were in some kind of bag. Someone tossed them in my salad and then disposed of the jar. Trash can. Exactly. What, well, Leslie, what's wrong? I will back in a minute. Yes, uh. ah. 
message. This is definitely not how we imagine your bachelor part. Paper, waste, groceries. No, there's nothing here. Wait. What's this? Oh, this is where the shrimp were. What are you doing in there? Um, taking out the trash. <laughs> you know, everything has to be perfect and clean today. Leslie, I was the one to the table while everyone else was cooking, so it's clean and tasteful and perfect. <laughs> so you were alone with the plates, my dear Scarlett. I see that you didn't eat anything today. I'm scared that I will be fat <laughs> for the wedding. You know, I might not fit in my dress and my fiancé might leave me. Yeah, he will do that. <laughs> eat a salad, at least. I wonder why you need me to eat salad. Scarlett, we, we never discuss about this, but um, did you blame me that Andrew dumping you in the college? I mean, we started dating after this, but now we're getting married. No. I blame only myself. You see, I always chased after people with money, not those who actually had feelings for me. And I was the one who drove Andrew away and I kept telling him that he was too poor for me. So yeah, I ended up with nothing. This girl was angry and resentful in her tears, but not at me. They want to poison me. What? Someone put shrimp into my salad. Jeez. It was in the chair. Tonic vitamins for horses? Who here even likes horses? Jeez. Amanda, this horse riding every weekend. But why would she do that? I don't know. Though. So, now we're taking along for the same position in the company. How could you even pick her to help you with the wedding? Pick her? She imposed herself. I know that she really want that I get married and, and pregnant. Then she can get the position. I've got to get her out of the open. I need to talk with her alone. I was supposed to show a wedding dress tonight. Tell Amanda that I will be waiting for her in the dressing room. Okay? Got it. So, I picked out a great dress for you. You're gonna make a nice bride and wife. It looks like you're gonna get a new position. I'm pregnant, Amanda. Hmm. Congratulations. Oh, well, I would have been in your position anyway. What do you mean? I'm sleeping with the boss. <laughs> I even told him I love him. <laughs> what? What's the big deal? You have a husband, and I have a position. So you're faking love for the career, yeah? Oh, Leslie, honey. You're gonna learn to fake it in your marriage, too. If you know what I mean. Come on, what are you so tense about? I'll keep your position after your... maternity leave. The matter is closed. Let's go show your dress. I know that one of you want to poison me. What? And trying to ruin my wedding. Someone put shrimp into my salad. Thank God I didn't have time to eat it. Leslie, someone poison me. Leslie! 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 Oh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie. Oh. Leslie. Oh. 
Okay, okay. You call the ambulance and Scarlett. No, no, no. Give me the first aid kit. Huh? Uh, Leslie? Uh, uh, give me a syringe and some body packs. No, she, she doesn't need that medicine. What? Nonsense. Everybody takes it. Medicine. It's okay. No, it helps everyone. Except for Leslie. She, she, she needs another pill. She needs... She needs this one. Slowly, we're fine. So, which one of you girls did it? I believe it's this stupid manicurist. What? What do I have to do with it? What? Two failed marriages, uh. dead end job. You decided to ruin her wedding out of spite. You brought the jar with you. You took the shrimp out quickly and slipped it in. Really? Quickly and unnoticed. With that, of course she's not my friend. I don't even like her. But I wouldn't ruin her wedding. I cancel it. What? 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 It pays me to say that, but I have to cancel in the wedding. I don't know how much seafood I already eaten, but your action can be unpredictable and... And I'm pregnant. What? What? I knew it. So, uh, my bachelor party and all my dreams on the fairy tale weddings are ruined. Just please call the doctor, okay? Why shrimp? What did you say? I, I ground one shrimp but in a blender and, and put it in your smoothie an hour ago. <laughs> what? What? What did you do that? You want to poison me? Not to poison you. To save you. I wanted to save you in front of everyone. It was always me, your best friend. And then, and then somehow you get this, this Scarlet, who, who's always jealous of her ex-boyfriend. And then, and, and then this Amanda, all of your competitors. And I'm, I'm not even talking about the manicures. Okay, so I got closer to them, but you want, you want to poison me? I just wanted to show you that I'm your best friend and that I should help you with the wedding. Not one of them. So you decided to give me allergic attack. Great idea. I didn't know that you were pregnant. And I didn't expect such a reaction. I was jealous. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really the worst friend ever. Yeah. And I feel so ashamed. I'm... I'm so sorry. I just... I just hate myself for this. What can I do to, to make up for it? Maybe poison all of friends? Um. After the wedding, you clean up all the dishes. All of them. You can't even leave little spoon. Okay? I promise. I will forgive you, of course I will forgive you, but you have to remember that jealousy is so destructive and only love can help our friendship. I 
the way, I'm not pregnant. What? What? Oh, wow, so now we can dream. <laughs> it was some kind of test for you girls. <laughs> okay. okay. To the bride. <laughs> to the bride. Pregnancy is the, you know, plan for the wedding night. <laughs> It's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit 2 million subscribers, and now we really need your help. Like, share this video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care, and see ya.